While seven of their national team players are gone on Olympic team duties, the Portland Thorns still have many talented players from all around the world. 28-year-old midfielder Nadia Nadim is safe at home after fleeing her home country under the worst of family tragedy in war-torn Afghanistan. I've never ever thought that my life's going to be like this. In her first season with the Thorns, Nadia Nadim is over the moon to play in front of the Riveters and all the scarf-waving, song-chanting supporters in Soccer City, USA. I love when the national item was playing because everyone's like with the scarves and uh, I always do like kind of look up and I'm like, this is unbelievable. Portland is far removed from both Nadia's original home and her adopted home. Sometimes I don't even believe that I'm here. Um, so I feel real blessed. Her father was an army general in Afghanistan. He loved his country. I would never leave it. And when the yeah, Taliban gained power, everything kind of changed. The last memories I've had uh, from that time are not pleasant ones. Uh, everything was so chaotic, and we're in danger. Nadia's dad was murdered by the Taliban when she was 12. They felt that he was a threat. Um, and yeah, got him killed. After his death, Nadia's mother took her five daughters to a safe haven at a refugee camp in Denmark. And my mom, she's a really smart and strong woman and she wanted us to have a better future. Basically flew to Italy uh, with fake passports uh, and then from there uh, we got transport to, to Denmark. She is beloved in the Rose City as well as back in her second home country as a Danish national team player. Denmark gave me the opportunity to have a life, but I certainly did take it. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, she's also studying to become a doctor. It takes six years to become a doctor in Denmark. I have done four and a half, so I have three semesters left. I also knew that I needed to do something for people around me. And I want to do, I want to do a difference, not only on the field, but also outside it. And I felt by becoming a doctor, that's going to be best way to help out people. A unique life story for a unique human being who has many unwritten chapters in this life. Pretty amazing stuff. And despite dropping their second straight game last night in Houston, 3-0, the shorthanded Thorns remain tied for first in the league as Seattle comes to town now on the 30th of the month. You're watching Oregon Sports Final, your complete look at sports in the Northwest. First, live, local.